Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing and pa I'm Pastor Daniel. Today I want to talk about God is good. You know, one of the central themes of the whole Bible is the goodness of God. Today many have tried to paint God in various pictures. Religion may have painted God that God is hard to reach, difficult to please, and that God is either so far, so busy that he doesn't really care about what's going on with the individual lives, or rather that God is only concerned about us doing the right things and not necessarily about what we are going through. And the way some also thank God is as well, you know, we never know what God's going to do. You can't be sure and he's so mysterious, nobody understands him. But the Bible doesn't tell us that about God. In short, the Bible says that God is good. Right from Genesis, the Bible says everything that God created, he made it good. And the Bible keeps telling us over and over again about the goodness of God. One of the reasons why Jesus Christ came is to, to reveal to us that God is good, God is kind, God is love. And if you're believing God for a miracle today, maybe you're sick in your body, you have a financial need, or you have a concern or a challenge going on in your life, I want you to know that God is good. And God wants to help you because He loves you and He's a good God. Now let's read the scripture. I'm going to read from Psalm 107. Uh, I'm reading verse 1 and 2 from the King James Version. And it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endure it forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So we see this over and over again. The Bible says, you know, over and over again in the Bible, the Bible tells us that we should give thanks unto the Lord for God is good. And his mercy, his grace, his loving kindness, his goodness, his wanting to help you endures forever. In short, if you see in the, in the book of Exodus, uh, when God was showing Moses about his power and his glory, the Bible says he made his goodness to pass over by him, which means that the strength, the, the glory of God is seen in his goodness. So God is good. And what does it mean to be good? It means to be kind. It means to be, you know, to be, to be, to be, to be perfect, to want to do what is right, what is good, what benefits other people. And the Bible says that God is good. Uh, in James 1, the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from God in whom there is no variableness neither ch shadow of turning meaning that God is not sometimes good and sometimes bad he doesn't do bad things sometimes and good things sometimes in short only good and perfect things come from God so God is good and health is good healing is good prosperity is good joy peace is good sickness is bad diseases and, and pain and suffering is bad. So God doesn't want you to suffer all of those ills because He's good and the Bible says His mercies endure it forever. I know people say if God is so good, He created the whole universe, He created the whole earth. So why are people going through all of these bad things? The answer is simple. We have an evil enemy called the devil. He's the bad one. He's the one that comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He's the one that makes people sick. He's the one that's responsible for death and destruction. And, and many people don't know this because he lies. He's a liar. He does these things and points the fingers at God. And people think God is the one doing all of the evil. But no, the Bible tells us that God is good. Every good and perfect gift comes from God, in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. And so here in the Psalm, Psalm 107, we say we should give thanks unto the Lord for He is good and His mercy endureth forever. So no matter what you're going through right now, the mercy of God, the grace of God, the goodness of God is able to bring healing to your body, restoration to your family, peace to your home, joy, if you will believe it and receive it. That's the reason for this program, to help you know the goodness of God and to teach you and help you how you can receive goodness from God. So God wants you healed. God wants you rich. God wants you in divine joy. God wants you to marry the right person and to have a good life. And above all, God wants you to spend eternity with Him in His presence in the heavens of heaven where there is no sickness, no disease, no pain, no trouble, not even a tear on our eyes. In short, God says you can start receiving that kind of life today 
if you receive him as your Lord and Savior. So if you're watching this and you, you desire goodness, you want to receive the goodness of God, I'm going to pray with you. The first step is to be born again. The Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see or enter the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is the kingdom of light, the kingdom of goodness. So many people are staying outside the kingdom because they have not received salvation. They have not received the blessings, the, the mercy that God brought in Christ Jesus. Very easy if you, if you want to know how. You have to believe that Jesus came and died for your sins and he was raised up from the dead so that you can be free from the devil and the impact of sin. If you believe that, even if you don't do everything right, you are not all perfect, but you believe what Jesus did for us, the Bible says his own righteousness will be credited for you. That means that his goodness will become your goodness. He will exchange your sin for your, for his goodness so you will become good and he will take your sin away and you can now enjoy all the goodness of God so today's message is God is good God wants you healed God wants you rich God wants you prosperous all you need to really do is receive Jesus make him your Lord surrender your life for him receive his goodness for all of the bad things that you may be going through and you can do that simply by asking in your, with your mouth and believing in your heart what Jesus came to do and you will be saved. So let's go ahead and pray. If you are sick in any part of your body, you can just put your hand where the pain is or stretch it towards the screen. The healing power of God, the goodness of God is going to come through this program and bring salvation, healing and deliverance to you. So let's go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for your goodness. We know you are good and your mercy endures forever. I thank you for everyone watching this. I thank you for the entrance of your word brings light. It brings faith. And so we declare right now, let the goodness, your goodness, O oh Lord, come upon each one that is watching, each one that is listening. We break every yoke of Satan, every spirit of depression, every spirit of offense, of fear, of, of, of torment, of tumor. I say, lose your hand in the name of Jesus. I command you to be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Pain be gone, every kind of arthritis be gone, cataract be healed in the name of Jesus. I command ear infections to be healed, back pains, any kind of swelling, any kind of, of, of inflammation be healed in the name of Jesus. I command you to be healed in your blood. Let the blood diseases go and let there be complete restoration from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus name. Receive the goodness of God. Receive deliverance from sin and fear and oppression in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm glad you joined with us today. Again, my desire is that everyone be prosperous and live in health, even as Jesus paid for us to live in divine health. And don't forget, uh, subscribe to the channel and listen every week for new episodes. And you can share this also with your friends and family. Let them know that they too can receive the goodness of God and be healed. And share your testimonies with us. And let us know what God has done for you and through this program. Or even if it's any other program, just share your miracles with us. We'd like to hear from you. God loves you. And I look forward to seeing you in another edition of Touch of Healing. Have a blessed day.